So we're looking for artists. We went through six floors of this building and found no artists. After much wandering, we found a girl who was loading uh, stuff into a cart who said that, gave us a complicated series of directions. She said that there is an artist and we've gone a long way and we hear that there's someone loading stuff into a kiln, which sounds cool. And she's supposed to be through these doors. Follow us. Who, who are you and what are you doing here? Um, I'm Ethan Hamby. I'm a senior master art making an installation for my first solo show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How long have you been uh, doing sculpture work? So, well, I've, this is my senior year coming into my senior year at Mass Art. Okay. Um, but I had like a pottery business when I was 16. I'm 30 now. Okay. So, I, right out of high school, I started selling like mugs and bowls and stuff like that. That's how I made my way to study to like push my work further and go back to school mm -hmm. so I can take like get a more like academic understanding of like you know where my art fits into the world right now. And that's really I think you know that's what being an artist is all about is it's the lifestyle that all encompassing like, how you live mm -hmm. you know which is goes beyond just material it goes beyond just like I'm a clay artist you know I'm interested in like sounds, I'm interested in videos, I'm interested in sculptures, different materials. For me, when I make work, the most important thing is getting into a state of flow. It's where your like mind shuts down or shuts off all the chaos in the world, the stresses, and you're just able to focus on that moment, that connection with your hands, your heart, your mind, the you know, the earth. And that's what I love about a repetitive form, and mm -hmm. it's like a practice. It's getting in there every day, doing the same thing over and over again. But it's really letting go and being open to those possibilities that can come out of it.